I feel like by bringing it up, I actually made the situation worse. I mean, everyone was quite comfortable, and then everyone just started, you we all started paying attention to it anyway. It was maybe not the best of ideas. wondering what I should play. So, uh, it's weird, it's what, two, al two albums now and I can only remember about three of the songs. Not I can remember how to play them but I just can't remember the names of them. <laughs> I don't know why. I, got, I was up most of the last night watching Dream Team. <laughs> it's bad isn't it? It was, uh, it was on a, it was a bit of a marathon on Sky 2 which I imagine is a channel that no one ever watches. So, they, so on Sunday nights, for idiots like me who've been up most of the weekend, they decide to put on uh, three episodes of Dream Team back to back, and for the last the last three Sundays, I've screwed my whole Monday up by staying up till five watching Dream Team. Then has anybody seen that program before? Pretty shit, isn't it? <laughs> it's not the type of thing you should get addicted to, that's for sure. It's this weird storyline at the moment, it's not even making any sense, that's the worst thing about it. I'm like watching it to see if there's a point. I get to the end of it, I realise there's not, and I still carry on. Pretty much like how I am when I'm talking most of the time as well. But at least this time it's because I'm tuning. So, sorry, you have to, I've got about 20 seconds more of rambling, I've run out of spiel on Dream Team. Which is pretty much the uh, only interesting thing that's happened in my life. That's <laughs> Chase is looking at me like, Sam, shut up. Chatting a lot of priests today. It's a phrase I picked up in Cardiff. I picked up a few useless phrases in Cardiff. And that was one of them. Actually, Gavin, do you want to, do, do you want to tell some jokes? <laughs> Gavin, every person he beats, he tells his joke. Now you've, you've got the mic, this is a real big moment. This is a big moment. <laughs> I'm not going to do anything else until you tell him now. I've got a couple of classics. Okay, here we go, here we go. Uh, uh, ask me if I'm a Jew. <laughs> Jewish. Oh, 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 come on. <laughs> he was uh, we were going up to Liverpool, there's about a hundred of us on the train going up for the show and Gavin was rehearsing his um, meeting people and I just kind of caught him like, out of the corner of my eye just going <laughs> for about five minutes, I have no idea why. It's a, it's a, another one after this song, which is even worse, if that's possible. <laughs> but how many people, when they when they first heard the first half of the joke, thought, God, this is going to be yeah. bad? Because that's what I thought. That's what it does. It fills you with this sense that, shit, he's going to, you know, something bad's going to happen in the next 20 seconds. It does, but it's not, it's not anti-Semitic, it's just a shit joke. It's like your reflections, it's getting late. Saving hopes and fears we can all relate Yeah, it's still making me laugh <laughs> So I'm speaking riddles I'm speaking rhyme Making decisions out of time Thank you. 
Thank you.